All right, so let's go ahead and take care of this following question here, where what we need to know is that this is going to be from arithmetic reasoning unit number eight, and this has to do with area and perimeter. So just as a, as a reminder, you will not be getting the formulas on the ASVAB. The first thing is the question, and the question is, everybody, what is the area of the square? There's a formula for that. We can plug numbers in and we can, we're good. Okay, cool. Sounds good. The area, the side times the side. So help me out, everybody. But if I'm trying to find the area of a square, what is it that I need to plug in? Yeah, I need to plug in the side. Again, keep that in mind. To get the area of the square, which is what I'm being asked to do, find the area, I need to plug in the side and multiply it by itself. My party people, did they give us the side explicitly? No, not at all. What did they give us though? Yeah, they gave us the perimeter right here. Let's highlight this. A square has a perimeter of 36 units. Everybody, let's ask ourselves with the perimeter, let me write this over here, with the perimeter being 36 units, can we use that to get to the side? Can we use that? Yeah, the answer is absolutely. So let me go ahead and just draw out a square so we can see it nice and easy here. Remember that a square contains four equal sides. And so the formula says, hey, perimeter equals four times the side. And so when we think about what the perimeter actually is, 36 units, let me plug that in right here. The perimeter was 36. And so when we think about it, my party people, what number do we multiply by four to get 36? Yeah, that's gonna be nine. And again, we're gonna get that by doing the work here. Divide by four on both sides, and that's gonna give us cancellation, side equals nine. Now, here's the problem. We're not done. We have the side being nine. We're trying to get the area. And so to get the area, Remember, we are multiplying the side times the side. So we have to plug it into the right formula. This was a detour to get the side. Now that we have the side, we can find the area, nine times nine, and that's going to be 81 square units. And there we go, my party people. That's how we get to the actual correct answer of D, 81, not A, nine.